Good morning. Welcome to 59 Minutes. My name is Levi Kones. You know, if it's Monday, we are talking politics. And to join me is a resident political analyst, Pan-African Forum Chairman, Dr. David Matsanga. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, uh, Lev. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. Fine, thank you. How are you doing this morning? Very fantastic all the way. Very, very, very good month beginning second. Beginning of, second. Yeah, yes, happy new month. Of we, August. We are hoping that this month is going to be a good one. Well, all months are always good, but the human beings are bad. <laughs> Human beings, they work on a casoro. The months are okay. We are, we are the people who have a problem, but not the months. Yeah. The months were created for us, but we are the people who go on, become corrupt, yeah. become thieves, become wizards, yeah. we become night runners, witches. Interesting stuff. It have you been watching the Olympics? Do you, see, do you see the Ugandans shining in the 10,000 meters? Of course, we have Uganda. Those are my neighbors from mine. Yeah. They are you know those Ugandans are actually me. Kenyans. We loaned you. No, they are, they are Ugandans. <laughs> and whether they are. Uh -huh. you, you always don't want the people to say yeah. the truth. Those guys, you came from us. But you have reached down here in Kenya, you have turned on us. You have turned. <laughs> The, the, the Kusebens. Yeah. Kusebens are our, our, I am a neighbor. I also come from the same area, the mountainous, mountainous area of eastern Uganda. Yes. Where, where they come from. They're, that's they where I'm from. You know, those are my cousins. No, you can claim. There's no problem. When it is you claiming us, no problem. But when it is you discriminating me on this television, oh, I'll go back to Uganda. You are always very quick actually. <laughs> no, 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 not at all, not at all. You Let's know, talk all politics, the viewers, Dr. All the view, apart from the chairman, the chairman is not tri tribalistic. The yeah. chairman is my friend. When he finds me anywhere in Dubai, anywhere, he says, sit down and let's have it. But the, some of the people are very bad. They say, go home, go back, go back to. But when trouble is there, they say, come, come, come. Yeah. Now, today you are saying, you are now claiming our runners again. You are claiming your runners. They are running today, by the way, 5,000 meters later on. Oh, uh, yes. They will uh, bring, the, they are better dead. They will bring it home. They will bring it home. Those are younger people. Yes. And do you know what? They do it under very tough condition. At least you in Kenya, you have Nyayo status. I was in Uganda, the our stadium has been turned into mm. a toilet. Yeah, it's more or less like a toilet. And that's a, that's a question of leadership. Speaking of leadership, Dr. Tari, one of the things yes. that happened uh, 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 this weekend, or is happening, and I want us to focus on NASA a little bit today, or what you would call former, former NASA now. Because all yes. the members of NASA have now left NASA. There is uh, 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 a, a theory that it is only Raila Odinga who can stand up to UDA and William Ruto. Do you believe that, by the way? Of course. Don't you know that it is Raila Odinga who can give us, who can give Ruto a runner for his money? Now in Guinea? What, where? These people need to unite. You see, if they don't unite, they are creating a situation of a Matiba and 1997. You remember 1997? Was it 1997? Election? Yeah, IPPG. Yes, where they did not unite. They each one wanted where to score. Where everybody came, the different people. You want to be hungry. You want to be hungry and eat. Yeah. Too many hyenas. Too many hyenas want to eat this thing called the president. Therefore, they might miss the target. They might they must come it together. Is, yes, unite. But, allow one candidate, a mature candidate, a man whom we think can lead you. There are so many other things that all these young people who are shouting can do. Mm -hmm. 
the younger generation can do. Me. So when you see, for example, let me ask Dr. Ari, right now they are talking about, you know, coming together. There are those who have formed One Kenya, everyone is pulling out of NASA, and they are saying, uh, Wetangula said, let's come together as equals first. And, uh, can we, will Wetangula ever be equal to Raina? Well. No, just, no, we come together as equals. Mm -hmm. Can you collect 10,000, can Wetangula collect 200,000 people in Uru Park without Raira? Fuambiane Ukweli. This is a show to talk the truth. Mm. Yes, even if you give Wetangula $5 million, he cannot collect 200,000 people in the Uru Park. But and Raira yet, can. Yet they still say, you know, um, uh, former Vice President Kalonzo said, you know, We've supported him for 10 years. Yes, so you have supported, but he has... You so have supported... Be a, a no, but you have supported, but he has not been through. Why don't you give him a last chance? Kalonzo still has some time. Kalonzo is in my age bracket. He's about 69 or something. Yeah. I don't am you 65. Think, though, that in an event where... No, no, why, why doesn't... Why doesn't Caronzo just wait? Give a chance. Mudavadi is still very young. He can try. Above all, Mudavadi is. He can try. Mudavadi can learn more under something. He can be a very empowered prime minister. Empowered prime minister running around to do the economy. You can't do an economy when you are the president of this country. The new constitution coming, which is going to work. And I'm now authoritatively telling you we are going to have the BBI here. Ah, really? Why are you? How yes. so? You know, I heard you talk about prime minister, and I was going to ask you, Unaongea kusu yes. prime minister, from what basis? Because Abana, if you like don't BBI, have the, the engine has died. Tuambiane ukweli, tuambiane ukweli. If you don't have a BBI here, and you, you change all your voting mechanisms, electoral mechanisms, let me prepare jail in the head. Have you heard my statement? I'm hearing your statement, yes. You will fight. Don't lie to people. You will fight. If you have not changed your electoral system, put in a new system where the loser will feel he has lost honorably. And where the winner feels he has lost one, but you will accommodate the 70 million votes where the loser was. That is the type of system that Uru Kenyatta is looking for. And the, please don't beat about the bush. Mm -hmm. The judges don't live on a tree. These judges live in this country. They know what happens every five years. No country in this region is willing to take in people because they are fighting over election. We used to tell people that Tanzania was very pretty. You saw how Tanzanian elections were. Mm -hmm. They even became more, more deadly that the people ran into Kenya because of an, an election. You saw how Ugandan election was. It, it was very tense. So you tell me, an election in East, in Mogadishu, you cannot hold an election. How many times have they postponed? Because they don't have the mechanisms. Why can't Kenya take time? Uh, it is an island of peace. And yet Put when some are saying take time, you know, like um, uh, Nandi Senator Stephen Cherage, he alluded to the fact, he said, you know, this thing of postponing elections is what caused Somalia to be the way it is. And he said, no, we should be Cheregei. careful Cheregei. not to create a scenario Cheregei. like that one. Sen Senator Cheregei is a younger man. I don't think he has read enough books. He doesn't have even more but knowledge. But people are very tense about the whole issue oh, of wait. postponing elections. He does not have, he does not have more, more knowledge of what we call comparative politics. If you brought him here with me, he might not even be able, he can run under the cupboard. Because he, can't, he doesn't have the, 
comparative, you are comparing Somalia. Somalia collapsed in 1991 because of devolution. Mm. Siad Bari was the president. Not, now look at my opic statement that Senator Cheregei, what? Which Cheregei? Where cha? You, you can lie you because you, you think it's a senate. Senator Wapi? Mr. Senator Wapi, are you dismissing yes. the fact that he's a, a honorable member? A, a honorable member who fights, even beats people around, is not honorable for me. Yeah? I like honor, I, I like people who work with the Nicola. Speaking of honorable and members and the, fighting, right? At, at yes, this moment. He's uh, a honorable, I agree, he's a honorable member, he's a great friend of mine. But he has not read enough comparative political science. Let him not come with sweeping statements. Those are statements of Stockholm Syndrome. Do you know it? Can I explain to it? You mentioned you it several know. times, yeah. I think they you know, the you know, the, the, you know what Stockholm the viewers Syndrome have you quite a number of times. Yes, you need to be lost. Stockholm Syndrome, sir. It is the syndrome of planting fear, political fear. That if you don't select us, you will see. If you don't select, give us elections, you will see what will happen. We shall go Somalia. Rubbish. That one is not there. You must collect. You must organize. You must. I've shown you examples. Yeah. Isn't it important, though, Daktari, that for democracy to work? Isn't it important that democracy also follows certain timelines without skipping as part of the democratical working concept? Because you know you teach these things. Uh, if we say we postpone elections and then 2027, what's to stop us from postponing that? What's to stop us from postponing every time we feel something is, no, is happening that may not be uh, going in a general direction? Won't we be setting a president where people will be in that you know, era of uh, pushing elections? Don't you fear that could also happen? How many people have you vaccinated? 600, 600 and they're less than 200,000. No, 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 no. 623,000. No, not fully vaccinated. Uh, hey, wait. Because you see the problem with you people. If wait, you go ahead, go learn, ahead. If you want to learn, learn from the teacher. Don't learn from the Okay, teacher. Mwalimu. Yeah, it's 600. And the 20 something thousand who have got double vaccination. Two vaccines, number one and two. You have vaccinated over one million people. There are still another 500 or so or 700 to be vaccinated fully <coughs> out of a population of 42 million. You have to vaccinate about 25 mm -hmm. million people for you to be comfortable that the Kenyans are vaccinated. The vulnerable are done. The disease which co goes on changing its tactics. We have this disease. Now there is a new vi variant which has arrived on the scene. Mm -hmm. Brother, don't take it lightly because you never know how strong it is. This one has no more signs, has not, 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 you look no more, but you collapse. We haven't prepared our hospitals. We haven't done everything to be able, Uganda comparatively, what Cherengei should have said, and I would have seen Uganda in 2020, in September, October, November, President Museveni controlled the disease so well. But as soon as they declared campaigns for the elections of 2021 in February, you see what the product is now? Uganda, Ugandans lowered the guard and they became very sick. Mm. You have now seen recently the oxygen is missing. Drugs are not available. People were going to die. President Museveni had to lock the whole country. And I want to thank him for doing that. Nobody was supposed to move from his home to another home. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks to God. 
So with this pandemic, Mr. Lev, let the people of Kenya be prepared that if the conditions of the pandemic goes on change, no president with able brain can allow his people to go and die in the future because we need the presidency. We need to be elected a president. Elections, you don't eat them. Elections don't keep your health. Elections don't wash your hands. Elections don't keep a distance. But Dr. 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 Lemias, going... what will we say we are stopping really? Because you know, schools are ongoing, our kids are mingling. Uh, you know, we are still out there in buses and matatus, but not observing social we, distance. But you, the what to stop office, us from doing a campaign? A campaign? Have you seen the campaign? When the people went for campaigns in Western Uganda, in Western Kenya, you saw what happened. The entire region had to be put under special law, lockdown. The numbers hike, uh, hiked. If you allow campaigns where politicians, where they see a market, Ruto stands on the roof, Mudavadi stands on the roof, Raila stands on the roof, Halonzo stands on the roof. Tell me, when you see people, they don't sit in their car, in their convoy, and go home. Are these the people you are going to control? Are these the people you are going to control? You people are putting Kenyans at a risk. Politics is putting Kenyans at a risk. You don't eat democracy. You eat food to be alive. I don't... Yeah. Thing you got to eat democracy in terrible, and yet we say, uh, in order to be alive. And let me ask Dr. Tari. We do say, oh, yes, what you're saying makes a lot of sense. However, you know, we are also being told that, you know, that uh, this uh, virus is unlikely to go away anytime soon. We are living with it. We are, and we don't... To go away, we did it several times. Now we have this Delta. Post, post, we had another one before post, that. We, had, we don't know what will post, be there post. next month or next year. Should it allies, you know, continue? You are, on a, you are on a national television, <coughs> which is being watched in America. You need some, some water there in the studio. You know, you are in a national television, watched in America. And when you are watched in America, don't speak that this is going away. There is a new variant, variant which has just arrived in China again. This one is more powerful than the variant that is in India. We have spoiled our atmosphere. We have destroyed the climate. We have destroyed the ecosystems of the world. We have tried to manufacture. China manufactured everything. The only thing they have failed to manufacture is God. They can't manufacture God. Chinese have manufactured almost everything, including robots that can polish your shoes. Uh -huh. So now look, we went beyond what God had said. We have done a lot, and everything is coming from China. Another one is coming, is on the way. We are just changing the names. Delta, Beluta, Beta, Beta, Dear, Love. It is like a hurricane, Hurricane Kat Katarina, Hurricane Florence, Hurricane yeah. Elizabeth. Doesn't this mean then so that we, we have, have to... we have we have a problem here? No, we have a problem. Yeah. And we cannot say this thing is going away. So my brother, don't say this thing is going away. This thing is still here. No, I'm saying we don't know where. it's not going away. I agree with you. It's not going away. We are saying that all this time we have had different variations and we have been told you know we have to live with it. We do not know, as you have rightfully said, what will happen with a new variation tomorrow. Which means we are trying to do the best we can. We are still trying to come to work. Here we are, social distancing, talking, you know, virtually, uh, even uh, across countries. You know, people are trying to make sure that they can, you know, still go to church and observe social distance, attend funerals and weddings and things like that. Can we just apply the same thing? Because you see, like, if we are going to be in this mode for maybe the next two, three, five years. It means that we also have to find a way. The way we are finding a way to go to school, we have to find a way to hold elections. Don't you think? Do, 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 have, 
do Africans understand what an election is in, in Africa? What is an election? That's why people have a difficulty, because they are saying, if you are telling us don't hold elections, but we can go to school, and we are going to churches, and we are also in Matatus, and we are out in the market, then why don't we find a formula that can make us hold elections? Don't you think election is, uh, going to school is better than doing an election in Kenya? It's better to go to school so that you learn how to vote and not to, not to throw stones in the tarot box. Yeah, what but is can... more important? <laughs> no, what Don't is, you agree what we can find more... a way? No, what is more important? Is it to learn and have tools of analysis so that you don't throw stones in the tarot box? Or is it to have elections and continue throwing stones in the tarot box, in the quarry, in the Kisumu, in Nairobi? What is more important? Of importance more is important? Like, of course, in importance, they might not be on the same level. The election, election is not, and election yet, is a byproduct. Election is a byproduct of a social contract. If you don't have a good social contract, there will be a bad election. Do you agree? If people vote, instead of voting to go home, they vote and they collect stones and they stay outside the social, the voting, the polling station. That's it. They, they, they will break the social contract. They will start to fight it. ICC will come in. International community will come in. People will be frozen. Property will be destroyed. Why don't you clean your electoral system first? What is stopping you, Kenyans? You have already gone blocked BBI. You don't want to learn about 90 points of being a nationalist, a patriotic man, of being an anti-tribal. You know very well you travel in Uganda most of the time. Uganda has got its difficulties, but it doesn't have tribal difficulties. Mm -hmm. There's no Ugandan who points out to the other that you are a Muganda, go away from my area. But there is a crude method here. Crude. You are very good people. But then you go to tribal cocoons. That's why you see somebody saying, we have supported so and so for 10 times. This time, we don't. We also want from our place in Ukambani to have a president. Why don't you have a president of Kenya instead of a president from some area? When Uruk suggested that stones, including you, you were throwing stones at him. I did not. I did not. <laughs> Dr. Ali, I did not. That's a very serious allegation. Yeah, no, I'm not making an allegation of you particular. There were so many people yeah. who said, who, for example, two regions have had presidents. Why don't you allow Kenyans to select from other regions? Why do you put people on pressure? Why are you putting Kenyans under pressure? Moi was in power here. Kibaki, Kenyatta, and the Kenyatta too. They are in the power here. Yeah. Leave other people. Leave, that, that is how countries like Switzerland have stabilized. Yeah. Put it in a good electoral system that can create a peaceful result. Without that, talk about NASA. Talk about what? For, it, it can't work, my brother. You, if you don't have a good electoral mechanism, if you still have a man called Chebukati, who did not know where the spoiled ballot paper was thrown, doesn't it worry you now in your suit as you are there in the studio that you have a chairman of an electoral commission who did not know where the electoral ballot paper that was marked wrongly, did he throw them? Did he destroy them? Where did he keep them? Which box? Jupiter Chief Jasimuiro, the greatest lady from Wote, Wote in Makweni, yeah. asked one question. We lost an election. Do you remember that? We lost an election. So the election was not properly conducted. You saw the acrimony it caused. Until Kenyatta 
and the William Ruto had to go back to fight another time. So because the bottom line is postpone the elections, you say? Because of a bad electoral commission, yes. Is that the bottom line what that you say? just postponed the elections? I am, not, I am not a Kenyan to tell you what to do. I am an expert of political science, international relations. What would be your experts, then, your experts' suggestion? Expertise. My expertise, please. My, I, I read J. Ebright. My expertise is, if I were a Kenyan, I would not rush to bring more burden on me, on us, on Kenyans. I would not. An election which is hurriedly arranged, mm -hmm. which has been manipulated already by the Electoral Commission chairman talking about constituencies. If the Supreme Court says constituencies have to be done, what will you do? Can I you go ahead and hold the election? Bridge when we get no. There. Can you go ahead and hold an election when finally the appeal court or Supreme Court says, yes, the BBI was correct, the electoral commission must start on constituency. What will you do? Will you fight? Well, you I can't think hold. the Supreme Court therefore, will be ruling just in this no, month of August, yes? Therefore, so therefore you won't hold. There, there will still be some time. Therefore, when, no, when the Supreme Court has decided, you will not hold the elections. Will you force yourself to hold the elections? You know, pundits are saying that you know that the Constitution already has given us a provision that if the second Tuesday of the month of August after the fifth year, yes. that, that is not uh, negotiable. Um, is it the Constitution you know, God? Because it's already in our Constitution. No. Is it the Constitution God or does it got angels? But you see, if we, if we trash it, then we'll trash many other things. Nobody has trashed it. You know, Condition is trash. Condition is on the ground, Mr. Levy Connes, sir. Condition is on the ground, might not be favorable. And you therefore, nobody has trashed the constitution. But the condition is on the ground, might not be favorable. Those who hate me because of speaking the truth can hate me. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not a voter in Kenya, but I am concerned African. Who has read political science who can tell you you need very good conditions? Do you know that in South Africa they vote today? Tomorrow they go back to work in office and they listen to results. Do you know that in Kenya, after voting, some people don't even return to work until the results are announced and to see whether pangas are on the road or stones or cars are being broken into? You know that we waste the whole month with running battles. Yeah, I know it's theater. a very tense affair here. Yes, it's because we are passionate people. You are what? We are passionate. You are passionate about only one thing. About about, about, the, about the choice of leadership. You are passionate about becoming president. About the choice of leaders. <laughs> about the choice of leaders. People are, have some I, passion I, about I, who I, they want to lead. I am not. I am not shocked. <laughs> yeah? I'm not shocked. You're not you sure are from Tar <laughs> you are not you are from Tarbo, so I'm not shocked. Oh, you are also I, from, I am from Tarbo, you yes, are, yes, yes, proudly. Yes. You uh, are very passionate about becoming president. You cannot <laughs> serve anywhere else. I didn't say that, Dr. Ari. I didn't are you, say you're passionate about leadership. Are you trying to tell your viewers that the president, the deputy president, is only passionate because you are neighbors? You are on the passionate to be I am not trying to say anything. I was just trying to describe he's, the Kenyan spirit. He's my, the deputy president, by the way, is my friend. I have no problem with, with him. He's, he's a younger person. To me, I might have no gray hair, yeah. but I'm older than, than him. So when I'm making these comments, some of his Tanga Tanga boys should not think that I am against him or trying to do things. No. I, I am also a friend who stood by them.
by him. And I have no regrets for having stood by him. Never. And anything will happen to an African. I will stand by him. I don't like an African to be tossed. I hear you. There is have, talk right yes. now of, of a return to the ICC. Have you had that talk, Dr. Tari? And what are you, what's your thought I've about heard it? it. It is a sad affair. Now I want to ask you, I am a man, they tell me, I said, I told you. Didn't I tell you on your show? What did I tell you? Were you not in the court you when said I you went to with fire. Yes. Didn't I tell you that I was going to remove work envelope? The biggest problem of Kenya is work envelope. It's work commission. Yeah. And let the work. DP... Wait, wait. Listen from an expert. Don't listen from quack lawyers. Oh, some of them have already one customer degree of law. Mm -hmm. they also Tell us, where, where are we at on that? Look, take, go to the High Court of Republic of Kenya. Declare work report now and void. Remove it from your books. Come to Parliament and say, this report was fake. The more you keep that report, God is watching me. God is watching me, and I hope Ruto is listening. The more you keep that report, I'm, I and Miss Lawyer Aruse, you know Miss Lawyer Aruse, you know him. Mm -hmm. You know the lawyer from your place, from Baringo. We went to court. He enjoined me in my case. People called me a foreigner. In fact, one judge whom I cannot name here said I'm a foreigner. I cannot file a case. I said, but there is international law here. Anybody from the country in ICC states can come here and file in a case. Yeah. I wanted to, to remove that work envelope, work report, because people came and said, we bought witnesses to come and talk ill of some people. Didn't Moses Kuria tell you that? Were you not the one interviewing Moses Kuria? You remember? What did he say? I did. That he paid to... 2,000 shillings, 2K, yeah. for witnesses to come and destroy people's lives. Mm -hmm. Therefore, this report, the working commission must be, do you know English very well, which I know you have a master's degree. It is called expunge. Expate, yes. No expunge. Expunged. Expate. Oh, ex you want it expunged, <laughs> completely removed. As yes. if it never existed. That's the only advice I'm giving Kenya. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If well, you don't do that. On that hallelujah you don't note. Do, my, my brother, if you don't do that, if, whether today or tomorrow, whether Ruto is a president or is a Jupiter or you know, a leader of opposition, which I think is going to be there, when he's walking in the streets of Madrid, Spain, when someone will stop you, you remember the case of Pinochet? Yes. Augustine. How long, how long did he? He was a friend of Margaret Thatcher. But the law in Britain said you will sit here for five years before we, we, we decide on your case. Anybody can come. As long as that report is there, that report is malicious for Kenya. Jamen, when you see my Swahili is that secure. Just listen to me. Don't listen to these quack lawyers who want money. Tell you lies, oh, I'm a lawyer. No. The report is something that the people will keep on coming back. Haven't they come back and taken the poor teacher? Yeah, so you're saying expires the report. They are coming back for more. And as long as that report 
you listen to the, the trial is starting when this month isn't it yeah just start you will see how they will be mentioning people's names big names doesn't that bring you more shame when i went to court to remove this court the dp fought me i withdrew i became an enemy he said i was an enemy now see I hate that institution called ICC. I don't have any, I don't have any, any, I don't have any, I don't have any respect for International Criminal Court. And I watch my lips. Watch my lips. I will die single-handedly fighting that institution until Africa creates a court of its own. You cannot ship Africans in a cold place when in the second yes, we can be able to create a court in Africa to try me. It's obnoxious, silly, very, very dangerous, very prudish. I cannot succumb and I will never support that court. Listen to my statement. Listen to my statement today. Yeah. I don't care whether I don't care whether and we have to wrap up with, with that statement. We are wrapping up. Uh, no, no, no. I don't care. Listen to me. I don't care whether Ruto likes me or he doesn't like me. I am not. I did not come here for money. I had got money before he could get money. I have. 11 grandchildren. Yeah, but on the ICC you're saying as well. And no, listen, I did not make a contract with him. But I, I am against international criminal court, period. Whether Karim is there, whether who is there, I don't like them. I don't like them. Listen to this Ugandan 6.1 feet tall, your uncle. Listen to me. I don't care. I live in, an in a country where the rule of law, you don't just go and cut and paste evidence on people. No. No, 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 no. I hear you, sir. We have to end it, though. We're going to end up on a very important note. You can there. end it on that note. I stand for the truth. Yes. The truth will set me free. The truth indeed. The International set you Criminal free. Court is a prudish, wrong, obnoxious court where NGOs, like people like Makao Mutua, the biggest problem that His Excellency, the, the Deputy President has, is to forget so easily and bring in people like Hassan Omar, eh? David Indi. These are the people who are writing reports for him to go down. They fixed him. Now he's brought them, he gives them money. They were bankrupt, they were going to Indian Ocean. And you, then sir. he goes on and he goes on blaming other let, people. Let, let's Thank call you. it there. Of course, we'll be talking more about the ICC even as matters unfold there. And also uh, back here, also talking about the political happenings of, of the week. Every week with Dr. David Matsanga, who has gotten, you know, very heated about the ICC subject matter. He does say that the truth shall set us free. And on that note, I'm going to end this particular show. It's none other than Jesus Christ himself who said that the truth shall set you free. May you have a free week. Always uh, uh, tune in to uh, CAS. We'll be bringing you the Olympic highlights this week, even as we look at uh, many more of our athletes who are going to be taking to the race tracks and uh, hopefully to the podiums to bring home the gold. This afternoon, the 3,000 meters steeplechase will be on. You want to check that out. We'll be showing it as well. Have a good day. Stay tuned for Lea coming up with Losu. God bless you. Take care of yourselves and each other.